Willkommen zu unserem Video von Tibor der Baumeister. Welcome to our video of Tibor the Builder. Oh, it's in English, thank goodness. Okay, this is going to be so much easier for us now. Hey, my name is Chris. And I'm Wendy. And, and we are Meeple Overboard. That we are, that we are. And today we are playing Tibor the Builder. And this is an exciting game based in the Oh My Goods universe. Uh, you can see this familiar name here, Alexander Pfister, and this not familiar name, Dennis Rappel. Uh, perhaps he's a well-known designer. I didn't look that up. Look out, Spiel, though, and of course the classic Clemens Franz art. So if you want to make me happy, give me a small deck of cards with Alexander Pfister and Clemens Franz's names on them. So this is the world of uh, Baumeister. I think this is Longsdale. <laughs> this is Oh My Goods world. Yeah. Without the goods. Without the goods. But what we're are what are we doing? We're gonna build buildings, of course. I mean, how else can we be the best Baumeisters, dare Baumeisters there ever were, if we're not gonna build buildings? So we're gonna build buildings, but how do we do that? We have a hand of citizen cards that we're going to be drafting, and these are slightly multi-use cards. This is the first player card in every round that will switch off because this is a draft. So we'll draft a card. We will then um, choose to place it either in our building strength our citizenry or um, discard it to use our building strength to build one of these lovely buildings over here. There is a little bit of a story for every single session. It's min it's minimal. So, uh, buildings for citizens. Eugene Murs, mayor of Longsdale, says regretfully, if only Longsdale had more buildings, more citizens would dream of coming to the city. No spoilers. This is That's the level of the quality here. But you can play through, I think it's like eight chapters, and so there's a little story here. We need, uh, we need tool people and granaries. And if we complete... This chapter bonus will get five points at the end of the chapter, and at the end of each of the four rounds of the game, one, two, three, then four, what will happen is we will get a little bonus. If at the end of the first round we have at least one building, we can draw two cards and add one of them to our citizenry. And at the end of the second round, you'll see we need more buildings and so on and so forth. So four rounds total. We also each have a secret objective where there are two of a single color and then one of another color. Um, and if you get that set of three, you get five points. Yep. So how do you build the building? So obviously these are the victory points that each of these buildings are worth. And some of them have special effects down here, like unto such. Some of them are set collection scoring. Well, how do we build them? As Wendy indicated, you have to have building strength. So the cost of all buildings for the first round of the game is three or seven. Why or seven, Chris? Because every one of these is worth a number of victory points or that number of victory points plus three if you build them on the upgraded side by spending the larger number for the round. So that's pretty much what you need to know to get started and you'll see how the set collection and everything works. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this card face down. I'm first player, so if I build, I will get to build first. That you will. But I have no strength, so I obviously can't build. Correct. So we reveal uh, Wendy first. I'm me. putting this guy mm -hmm. in a citizenry. Hey, look, I've got a citizen too. I've got a soldat or a soldier, as we say in English. Soldier. Soldier. Sounds fancy. All right. Um, yes, yes, yes. Things that I could possibly do. I'll go ahead and I'll draft another person here. As will I. Okay, reveal, and I'm going to go ahead and take another soldier. Hand that your way. So Wendy's first player now. I draft this card. This game is lightning fast. Four rounds, and it's just decisions like mm -hmm. this. So uh, you reveal I'm technically first, player. first. I'm going to build. So I discard this to say I'm going to build. Then I use my seven strength, which is the upgrade cost to build a building. And I'm going to go ahead and build this one. It's only worth one point. Well, actually, it's worth four points because I built it upgraded. This says that I get to draw two cards from the deck, and I get to choose one of them to be my next strength card. Hey, hey. Hey, this one looks awfully nice. This one just gets start discarded. Yep, I'll flip over this one. This is my power, my building power. Unlimited six limit of power. All right. Now, oh, now this is a good time to mention. You'll see here that these sword symbols have different, like some of these things have different little um, uh, collection symbols going on. So for swords, if you get four of them, you get eight points at the end of the game. If you have these bags, if you have four of them, you get one point 
per citizen in your in your area. The mm -hmm. capitán over here is worth lots if you get lots of captains. So that's also a consideration we have as we're drafting these cards. So I'll go ahead and do that. You know what? I'll take this one. It's a little bit of a hate draft here because mm -hmm. I get a first player bonus. So I'm going to build. So I discard my six. Now here's the other benefit of the, of the citizens that we have. What are these colors here? Well, I have six power. That's not quite seven power, you say. I can't build an upgraded version of a building. Guess what? I can because these provide me a discount. That's why this soldier is awesome because it's a one discount for any color building. This guy is also a discount for red. So I technically could have spent a five and my two discount and still afforded this. So. I'm going to go ahead and take a play out of Wendy's book and build this building upgraded. And I'll get to go ahead and look at two cards. And I get to choose, look at that, Captain my Captain. I'll take you, and this one gets discarded. Super nifty. It is. Thanks for noticing. All right. So you have the first player card, so you get to take the first action. I do. I will go ahead and build with my seven. It's technically eight if I build either one of those. Technically. I'm going to build this one. Okay, dokily. Uh, what I will do then is I'm going to build as well. Oh, I'm sorry, it's upgraded. So I'm going to build this. Uh, this I'm going to build with uh, eight strength here, which is enough to upgrade this. Now this is six points. Now it's nine. Boom, Sweet. magic. So when he passes me the first player card, because now it's the end of the round, mm -hmm. and we're going to go ahead and assess some end of round stuff here. So. Uh, there's no end of round bonus on the chapter card, but on the scenario card, if you, we have at least one building, which we do, we each get to draw two cards and pick one of them to keep into our citizenry. This nice bonus up here. Mm. So, uh, ooh, that's fancy. Those discounts are pretty good, but I'll take this one. I will take that one. If you have the majority of tools, hey, look at that. At the end of the <laughs> game, you get six points, second place is two points, but also... Per this little thing here, we want three tools and or farmers. So let's go ahead and discard yet another captain. Ha ha! Uh, oh, apparently you did too. So, <laughs> so now we're done with that. No other end of round particulars go on. Wendy's going to reset the buildings. I'm going to deal out a hand of five cards for each of us. These deal from the bottom because they're double-sided. There is one of every color, so that is lovely. Yes, you, what you'll do is you will deal uh, two, two per player plus two every round. All right, so let's go ahead. Are we ready to begin again? Uh, yeah, I just got to look at my hand here and I'm see what I do... want to do. Oh, and no, that's right. This updates here, yes, so that's boom. Right. So we have to have three buildings at least at the end of the round, and then we get our little citizenry boost. But now buildings cost four and eight if we so desire them. So I have, desire. I have the first player cards right now, which is neat, except for the fact that I don't have any building strength. So I'm going to go ahead and reconcile that. I'm going to put out this eight boy right there so that I have a lot of building strength to work with. All right. I am as well going to put out an eight. Hey. Pretty nifty. Ooh. Ooh. Look at these bad boys. What you going to do? What you going to do? <sighs> this all seems so good. Okay. I'm going to take another big heavy hitter. Hey, that's pretty fancy. So I'm going to go ahead and take a building action here with the priest der priester, I guess. Um, so I'm going to use the eight strength. I'm going to go ahead and take this building here upgraded. So that's a lot of points right there. And this is one of the few buildings in the game that is also a bonus in that it gives a sword. So that's helping my sword collection up there. Mine is helping my non-existent bag collection. Hey. Pretty nifty, don't you think? Don't you think? <laughs> Ooh, I could steal this bag from you. Oh, baby. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, you know what? Let's go do that. Ah, you're working on bags. Watch out or else bags will happen. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Okay, so I will... Place this card down. I will. Hmm. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and build Ooh. with my seven, eight, nine. 
So this is enough to upgrade this one. And once again, it is draw two and get another strength. That's a nice little combo. So you can get more strengthage so quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip yes. this card over so that it's on the strength side. Uh, hand worker over here is gonna help me hand work some buildings into existence, methinks. <laughs> hey, you didn't take Bagalow over here, interesting. So uh, we obviously have the cards that we're going to draft. So I think what I will do is I'm going to spend this uh, hand worker to build an upgraded building because he's five and I have three discount on blue. So that does let me get this boy over here, even though I'm not really going for uh, ship sh ship steering wheels, nor is Wendy really. <laughs> But you can just afford it. I can afford it, and it's seven points, baby. That's fair. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and build as well. That is some lovely points there. That is a lot of points, mm. yes. Six, seven, eight. I guess I can do eight of either one of these colors. I'll go ahead and take this one. I mean, it's kind of a lot of points. It's which kind is of a great. lot of points. And this one doesn't have like an effect or something, so. Yeah. All right, very good. So that's the end of the round. This is going to pass over Wendy's way. So do we have at least three buildings each? We do. I'm sorry, this has to be discarded because I built. Yeah, you should probably spend the <laughs> cards according to the law. So we get to take one of these two into our citizenry, which, mm. hey, look at you. More baggy bags. Mis soldat. Uh, that's perfect. So between this sword and these three up here, I've completed my eight victory point uh, set collection. Congratulations. Thank you. So let's go ahead and clean this up. I'll flip this over to the third side, which says you gotta have at least five buildings. Here's your hand, and you have the starting card of power. That I do. What do we got here? Perfect, we have one, at least one of each color. Fascinating. What do I want to do? Do I want to do this? Oh, I've got a real choice here. I don't need you anymore, but you're also... Uh, buildings are five and nine at this point. She's real fine, my five and nine. <laughs> She's real fine, my five and nine, my five and nine. Right, let's do that. So... Uh, you reveal first, technically, and then I do this. I love how simultaneous this is. I like that there's a first player to just break up who gets to build which building, but uh, outside of that, you just deal with it. That's good. I could try and be getting some of these ship masts or whatever, but... Yeah. If they happen, they happen. Okay. Okay, so I will uh, put this into building power. This is strength. Yeah, or strength or whatever you want to call it. So, what do I want to come back to me, essentially? That is a good question. Well, I save my dollars and I save my dimes. Giddy up, giddy up, five and nine. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and build. So I've got, I've got adequate discount on red, so I might as well build this person right here. And so that will be worth additional points if I have uh, complete sets of different building colors. Three bonus points for that. All right, Sweet. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is sufficient in yellow to build this yellow. Ooh, no, this yellow. Hey, hey. hey. We wanted wheat. We like wheat. Yeah, we need three tools and or wheat. I've got two tools. You mm, got I'm a, set. You got the three wheat. Yeah, you're set. Now, is this for every three wheat? Like, if I got three more wheat, would I also get five points? Yes, indeed. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. This is not great. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okie doke. Okay, I'm going to stick this up here. I'm going to make this building strength. Ooh, I'm the first player this round, huh? Of all the rounds. Well, you know what? Uh, ooh, ooh, I want this for so many different reasons. I want it here, I want it here. Uh, 
Oh, you know what I think I should do, actually? Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. So, uh, my last action, I start first. So, I'm going to go ahead and build. I'm going to build with four, but I have a three discount. So, that's not enough to get up to the big side, but I'm just going to build this thing for one point because it does allow me to draw two and to make one of them strength. So, I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's, super nifty. that's what I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and build. This blue one over here, which is another one of those bonuses for extra stuff. For complete sets. Yeah, that's also upgraded. Fancy, yeah. So that's the thing. This is my one um, unupgraded building thus far. So there we go. We reach the end of the round. All right, so let's go ahead and do this cleanup here. Oh, really quick. Uh, let's make sure to do this. Oh, yes. Send around. We each have at least five buildings, right? Mm -hmm. So we get two. Ah, where am I supposed to see? <laughs> uh, and then we get to add one of them to our citizenry and discard the other. Oh, look, I already got swords. I got swords for days. I've got this. You know what? I'm going to... Finishes gonna... my bags. I hear that all the time. Well, that finishes my bags. <laughs> Ugh, you know what just finishes my bags? What? <laughs> Tell me. I got another one of these ships. If I can get another one of these, they start becoming worth more points. Woo hoo hoo! We have to shuffle discard piles. We haven't had to had to do this yet. This game, so this may break some people's hearts. I'm a riffle shuffler. Oh no, Chris! The integrity of the cards. How will they hold up over time? You know what? Small note. I feel like lookout games tend to have decent card quality that like lasts. You know what I mean? We've played a lot of Oh My Goods. We played a lot of this. Like these cards don't smudge or crease or crack that easily. They're not the greatest feeling cards. Like there's no linen finish to them or anything like that, but Yeah, but like the you know what I mean, like over time these cards will wear on the sides and all that jazz, but like I'm not gonna trust just a simple overhand shuffle. Uh, so okay, anyway. So boom. There we go. Go ahead and flip that. Oh yes, we are on to the last round now. The game is moving lightning fast, so we need to have at least seven buildings, and if we have at least seven, we will get a one-time bonus of two points. And then remembering that I need to get at least one more uh, tools, Meister, to get this five end game points. Hmm. Tools, Meister, away. That uh, is accurate, yes. Um, oh boy. I can build anything? Upgraded. So what, what, what do I want? Well, I mean, that's going to be good for Wendy. I don't know if I just want to block you or if I should take it or whatever, but, um, but there's also this like very juicy looking thing over there hair. So I, I think qualify for this one. So yeah, you do well. qualify for that one. Yeah. There, there's a lot of, there's a lot to be scared about with you. You're so powerful. So, you know what I will do is I will spend this homeboy. All right, so I've chosen my card. You have the first player card, so you go first. I'm going to go ahead and build. Mm. I'm going to discard this person here. That's eight uh, plus whatever is enough is at least ten. So, I'm going to buy, I'm going to build the upgraded blue card right here. It's nine points. I mean, it's hard to argue with nine points. That is fair. Okay, now over here, I will take this card. You're ready, so I'm just gonna add it to my set up there. Nice. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I might not have enough to reach this. <gasps> I might not get this bonus five victory points, but you know, such is life. Okay, so. And first player, I'm gonna build. Okay, I'm just gonna add this captain. Over five, here. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so it has to be a blue. We'll go ahead and do that. And why not this one? Very nice. You are the collector of the blues over there. Collector you got of the, the blues. blues. Alright, so I'm first player. I draft this card yeah. and I reveal. Whoop. I have yet another Capitan, so... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and build this one because that's super nifty. Yep, and we're on our last cards, uh, and I really have nothing to do with this. Do I have some, two, three, four, five, six... Ooh, hey! Oh, no, when you built the last red! <laughs> yep. So, um, so yeah, my turn is kind of just shot, so... Yep, mine is as well. I'm gonna just stick it up there in my citizenry. 
Yeah, I've got one extra sword. I don't have any... One, two, three, four, five... Oh, you know what? I can... I have enough discount that I can build a blue building. Look at that. Woohoo! Wow. Okay. So, uh, that is the end of the game, folks. So, we're going to have to go into end game scoring now. Oh, you know what? Uh, so, yeah. So, everything is just kind of end game. Do you want to write this out on a pad? Do we want to just add it up mentally? Let's go and add up mentally. I'm okay with that. All right. So do we get those seven points each? Or the two points each, sorry? Uh, yes, we have seven buildings each at least. And do we get the five? I don't. I don't have a, I don't even have like a single wheat here to make up for it. So you are starting with a five point advantage. Okay, so should we start with you and then we'll move on to me? Sounds good because I'm operating at such a deficit. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> okay, so I have two points out of these ones here. Uh, moving along. My secret scoring objective, I only got one set, and I'm very sure that 1D has two sets of it. So I'm, I'm, I'm starting from behind, but I think I can do something good here. So I have one set, so uh, seven, and then I'm gonna have to add up all of this nonsense. Seven plus three is 10. I'm sorry, this is supposed to be flipped. <laughs> Mine were flipped. <laughs> so that's 10 plus uh, this here is- That wasn't flipped, I lied. Take it back. Okay, I'm sorry. Now I'm now I'm gonna try and do math sorry. out loud. <laughs> so ten plus this here is twenty. So I'm at thirty plus this is another twenty. So I'm at forty, and then I'm gonna have to go ahead and score up some sets. Let's see. So forty. I have at least one of each here. Uh, only one yellow, and only one black. Yeah. So uh, forty three. And then I have max, I, or no player has more black buildings than me. Ergo, I get another three points. So mm -hmm. we're tied, so 46, if I'm doing this correctly. I have a set of four swords. Um, so 46 plus 8 is 54. We should be writing this out. This is so much fun for everyone to watch. 54 plus, uh, how many tools do you have? Uh, one. Ooh, 54. Plus, I have the majority here, so that's another six, so that's 60 points. And then I have a priest who is worth five points, so 65. And then the last thing I have to count up is my uh, steering wheels. So I have four here and a five one here. So what did I say? I was at 60. I was at 65 plus 12. So set here is worth 12. So 65 plus 12 is 77 points. There you go. I think I did that right. Okay. Okay. Now it's my turn. Better. Yeah. Okay. So I will add that seven in a minute. So eight and eight is 16 plus another eight is... 24. 24 plus 10 is 34 plus nine is 43. Mm-hmm. 44, 45 plus seven... 52. 52. Okay, so 52 base where we're at. Now, um, I get max of this, so that's 55. I also have one of each color, which is 58. Then we'll go ahead and go here. So remember 58, honey bones. 58, work 58, on. okay. So I did get one, two, three of these wheats. So 58 plus five is 63, correct? Plus five, yeah, 63. Okay, so 63. Um, bags, I do have all four bags, so that's one point per sit and sentry, so 53, I'm at 53? Yes. 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62. Oh boy, I'm getting nervous. For bags. Um, I have two of these little anchors, so that's just two points, so that's 64. I have second place in this, 65, 66, and... Then I get two of these, which I, for every two sets of blue and yellow, so that's an extra 10, so 73? 76. Wendy's 76 to my 77, huh? Was it 76, not 73? I thought you were at 66. I was at 66, okay. And then you add two sets here, so 76 to 76. 77. That was close and tight. Oh my goodness. So how do you feel about uh, winning by one point? Uh, I I feel like we've had a lot of tight games of this, and I love that. I So, okay, I have a lot to gush about this game. Every game comes out differently, I feel like. You know what I mean? So, like, I was not expecting to be able to get 
uh, these sailing, these captain bonuses and stuff, right? Yeah. Because uh, I, I saw that you discarded a few of them at the beginning of the game. I discarded a few, and so I was like, man, they're not going to come up. And then in the last shuffle, I got so many. So it was a very worthwhile, fun surprise that I wasn't able to build a lot of buildings at the end, but I just was able, I was lucky enough to draft a couple of these for some good points. Sure. And it could have been just the difference of if this, uh, if I had either put this out first or I had upgraded this so that it was a little higher, then this could have been upgraded. So that could have been nice. I mean, literally any, yeah. Of, any tiny little thing could have made it, made it or breaked it. Made it or <laughs> breaked it. <I'm laughs> made it or <laughs> Make it it or break it it. So yeah, like this one point, this one building, you know what I mean? As silly as that sounds, but like this one building yeah. gave me not only one point, but also gave me some power so I could build another building, which turned into uh, one, that one of these. That final blue building that you built or whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean? So like that, so this one building turned into not just one point, but four points. Plus it was the black that I needed, uh, the black building I needed to be able to get this. So that was another three points on top of that. Things are so interconnected, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I love set collection in games. I love it. I love that, you know, there's so many different types of set collection. This is just a one-time, you can't spam priests. You can't get too many of them. This requires four. Bags require four, but is dependent on your citizen size. So, like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's so satisfying to get different combos to work out. Yeah, so I ended up getting more with bags than crested with swords, even though swords look really big from the get-go. And it's just, it's really fun having these multi-use cards because you may look at this and you think, oh, this isn't worth very much. It's only three. It only gives you one benefit. But if this is like, you know, your fifth or sixth card up here in your citizenry, it can be amazing. Yeah. So it's just, it's fascinating how they work out. I appreciate that the buildings are all different. Some of them seem kind of pointless. Like, I don't even know, like these little ones. Like a, just, a basic three that doesn't have any special scoring. Yeah, but it can make all the difference. It can't if that's what you need to score like a set mm -hmm. like this or to get that majority or some other combination of things or because it's just a free card. You know what I mean? Like I was able to build this at the end because I happened to have such a big citizenry pool that I could get a six thing for free. You know, that, that discount. I didn't need to have a power card. Just things like that are so great and brilliant in this game. And how fast it is. Super fast. Super fast, super fun. There's, what, eight chapters, I think, to this? Yeah. So, so. we showed you chapter four. <gasps> Spoilers. There's, a, there's, there's the city granary burnt down. Ah. So, you know, if that was, oh, yeah, we spoiled that for you. <laughs> but it's fun because, yeah, there's just, just different things that you're shooting for every round. These change up. It's nice that there's some, some change in diversity to the game. The overall feel is the same, but there's just unique challenges. Yeah, it, it's it's variability, not simply for variability's sake to say, oh, our game has the checkbox of it's variable. But depending on this, I want to focus on different buildings, and then the buildings that I end up focusing on give me different things, give me power right away, or make me want to collect sets of different types of things. Uh, the chapter things all have different scoring. There's a couple of these different scenarios. So this one gave a citizenry, which makes bags so worth it. Yeah. Other ones of these things give you power. Other than let you draft bigger hands of cards each, you know, on different rounds. So there's some meaningful variability to a already robust system, which is just like a nice cherry on top. Mm -hmm. Overall, great game. We're Meeple Overboard. Thanks for watching. Bop, bop.